Alrighty guys, now today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I want to go back to my old style of videos and today I'm going to be looking at SML's most disappointing videos of the 2022 year. Now obviously we've had a lot of videos thus far and the year still isn't over and it currently as I'm recording this is September 12th, okay? So that means that, yeah, we, we've definitely gone through three quarters of the month at this, or three quarters of the year, pardon me, at this point. And, you know, it's gonna be fun to look at SML's most disappointing videos. And in a video after and later on, I want to talk about SML's videos that were actually great this year. Just kind of as like an overall statement, just to kind of recap everything we've been through thus far. So yeah, if you guys are gonna want to enjoy Please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as always. Don't worry, when SMO posts on Wednesday, I will get straight to a reaction on that. And without further ado, guys, let's get right on to it. <clears throat> okay, guys, well, to start this list off, we have a no-brainer, and that is Cody's NFT. Now, listen... When Cody's NFT came out, I was very, very excited. Now, around this time, NFTs were a very, very big thing. They've kind of died down now. But back in that time, they were very, very, very popular and made people a ton of money. And that's just the truth. That's the realistic uh, situation. However, you know, and I was starting to kind of just get an understanding of what they were. And I, I did kind of like see how it was making people money. And, you know, I enjoyed looking at that kind of stuff. So for me, when I saw Cody's NFT was a thing, I was very, very excited because I was like, okay, this is right up in my alley. I love this. Right. And then this video came out and uh, <laughs> they just made a complete mess of what NFTs actually are. And basically it was just Cody trying to show off his NFT and then Junior and Joseph being complete idiots for 11 minutes and four seconds. That is literally the entire purpose of the video. And it's so repetitive and so redundant that I cannot stress this enough, but this video was pure crap. And I don't think anyone's going to try to stop me and disagree in saying this, that this video just straight up sucked. Um, yeah, honestly, there's not much to say about this one besides the fact that it just straight up sucked and it was so disappointing for all the, all the, all, all the reasons. And uh, without further ado, let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, now next up we have the retirement, and this video, I mean, listen, look, all due respect, this video isn't that horrible, it's just I did not like it at all, and I found it very, very disappointing. Now, it was literally just Chef PP wanting to kill himself, and that's literally the entire point of the video, and I just don't think there's really much to it. I mean, it's just a lot of people being sad that Tom Brady retired it's as if he like was in a crisis and died or like if if a hurricane just completely like stamped over every house in florida or like whatever chef pp doesn't care man like I, that's just something that i don't really get i guess like i i feel like even if my favorite sports player of all time retired which i know when i say my favorite sports player draymond green you guys are gonna be very mad but listen i he's he's the goat he's the goat <laughs> um Okay, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys understand or if you guys know who that is. But uh, basically, yeah, I mean, honestly, I would never, never freak out about that. Like, I would never want to be depressed because someone is retiring. I would never want to kill myself. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, And I just think that this video just made a whole, like, ridiculous scenario that was so, so repetitive. <laughs> lie guys do not lie when you saw the funeral thumbnail right don't lie you guys were intrigued to watch this video i mean listen we all were okay when we saw that brooklyn guy's mom died like we were actually like it, it was honestly again it was very very like interesting and it made us want to click on the video right um it was an interesting topic to look at right and then the video appears and we start watching the video and we realize what the hell is this? Okay, it's literally, I did not like this video at all, and I'll tell you why, okay? Basically, Brooklyn Guy's mom just basically fakes an entire funeral. Like, an entire funeral and an entire death, just so she can prove a point. Just so she could prove a point that, hey, Jonathan loves me, and Brooklyn Guy doesn't. And sure, the only nice parts about this video were the jokes. 
like when Tyrone came in with his friggin' McDonald's, like I have a delivery uh, from Uber Eats or whatever. That was the only funny part of the video. The rest of it was just basically Jonathan versus Brooklyn guy, just wars. And, you know, look, look, I enjoy the Jonathan and Brooklyn guy, you know, saga and the war and all that. But it, at one point, you just have to stop. Like, at one point, like, this video took things way too far, got way too repetitive and just way too annoying, way too fast. That's a lot of way twos. Okay, guys, and now we have the Powerpuff Jeffies. Um, this video is a video that I just found was extremely underwhelming, um, and honestly, I know a lot of people like this one, and the Nintendo animation wasn't even that horrible, and it's not really the full reason why this video sucks. Um, it's honestly the reason this video I just didn't find to be that good is because it was supposed to be a Jeffy's Fairy Godparents kind of crossover, and I feel like it just kind of missed a little bit. I'm not saying this video was bad, but because this is a disappointing list, I have to admit that this video was a little bit disappointing. Um, and I think a lot of us can agree with that. Like, yeah, it's supposed to be a tribute to uh, the fairy god, uh, fairy godparents and the fairly odd parents. Um, but the thing is, is that I just don't feel like it did the best job. It got the idea right. It's just I don't feel like it was as entertaining as it should have been, maybe. But I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion. I don't really want to talk too much about this. It's fair enough if you don't want this on your list, but let's move on to the next one. All right, now I would put the caveman on here, um, but the reason that I'm not doing that is because I know a lot of people really like that one, so I don't think I can really call it a disappointing video. I don't think it's fair to call it if most of the SMO community liked it, so I'm going to skip over that one. Um, however, one that I do want to talk about and is the final part on this list is one of the most recent videos right now, and it's your boy Dougie. Now listen, listen, I think Black Yoshi is probably 70% back. Like, okay, look at this from a realistic perspective. The SML movie Dougie's Robot Scam, which was the most recent video at this point in time, um, was a video that, you know, did you guys really feel that it was an amazing Black Yoshi video? No, you didn't. Like, it wasn't anything outstanding. I don't think, I think they just kind of have to start playing around with Black Yoshi a little bit more, kind of get him back to those old forms, and, you know, just kind of start to realize that Black Yoshi... I guess needs to be a little bit more funny. Although I did enjoy watching Black Yoshi, it's just I don't feel like that video was on par with the old Black Yoshi videos, but that's just my opinion. Um, but It's Your Boy Dougie is a video that I really want to talk about um, in specific that I felt was very disappointing. Um, I'm not saying the video was bad, I'm just saying like it was disappointing. Like It's Your Boy Dougie was supposed to be a video that was, you know, when you first saw the video, you were like, oh my goodness, like, when you saw that thumbnail and that title, you're like, holy shit, he's finally back, I can't wait to watch this, and I remember, I was at my friend's sleepover party thing that one day, and I, I remember seeing that thumbnail while I was scrolling through YouTube, and I'm like, holy shit, I cannot wait to watch this, um, and then, then everything changed, like, of course, I was, like, hella disappointed when I watched this video, because, it just was not a good video, it was not entertaining, it was literally only to introduce a character, and I said this in my, you know, in my review for this video, um, but it's only a video that's used to, I guess, introduce a new character, and literally nothing else. There's no other piece of value that is brought in this video. This video wasn't funny, this video didn't have a great plot, this video literally did not have anything, it just had an introduction to a new character, which I'm not completely opposed of. I just wish we got a little bit more for Dougie's introduction video, just because he's been gone for like two years, so I definitely did want something a little bit more. But anyway, that is pretty much it for the video, guys. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comments below. I'm definitely going to be doing um, a video where I look at the great videos of the year, but these are the disappointing ones of the year. Let me know if you want to change anything, and without further ado, guys, peace out, everybody.